Hi everybody, Jo here again. Thanks so much for popping in. Today I'm answering a question from Shelley, one of our lovely followers, and she messaged me and she asked if I could use, use one of our new stamp sets and that's the, the small pine trees. But also she did say not just for Christmas. And, and again, that's important. Again, for me, I like to have stamps I can use all year round. So, and that's the thing with Lavinia stamps, they are so versatile. So today we're going to create this design, which obviously has got a Christmas feel to it. And I've got my lovely envelope look. But I also wanted to show you, using exactly the same technique, I've created two more designs here. Now, the beauty of this is, whichever inks you use, whether you want to use your elements, your oxides, your distress, we're just going to do some blending. And you can have so much fun creating different colour tones and just deciding which three colours to add. So here, obviously, I've gone for yellow, orange and brown. And this one I've put in for a birthday card. Again, great for a man's birthday card. Here I've used the pink, the blue and the purple. Just to show, now this, I've added some of our lovely sentiment stickers. Peace and harmony, walk your path. Now that would be a lovely get well card. Maybe just a card to give someone some encouragement. I've also added um, a stamp from our butterfly set and also from our little wild hairs and this is the small set and he just stamps beautifully there perfect size to go with it so i'm sure if you look you've got so many stamps that you could use you've got your sticker sentiments you've got your different stamps and you could use this design and mix it up a bit as i say and you know what if you're feeling a bit under the weather and i know a few of you are so i'm sending you a big hug and I really hope you feel a bit better soon. But it is awful when you're just not feeling it. Just get three colours of ink and let's just do some blending. Then have a bit of fun. Look through your stamps. Maybe some stamps you haven't used for a while. And create a lovely design. So I'm going to start with a piece of multifarious card. And this is five inches square. And I'm just going to put my card here where I can see it because me being me, I will forget what I've done. Now for this, quite often I use my lovely Lavinia low tack tape to put myself a border. But I'm so chuffed that Tracy's got these lovely sticker stencils now. And this is set five and we've got the square in this. So this is perfect for me. And it fits beautifully, look. And I'm just going to put it on my five square. Again, this is a smaller card for those of you that want smaller designs. And I'm just going to stick it down. Now, the colours I've chosen to use, I've gone for pink. So I'm using oxides today. I've gone for saltwater taffy, a villainous potion, and then ground espresso. But as I say, we have so many different colour combinations that work really well with this. And I'm going to use my blending sponges today. If you want to use your brushes, use your brushes. For me, I just find that my blending sponges, I can get more colour on quickly. And I'm thinking this will be great for batch card making. So I'm going to come in first with my pink. And I'm just going to blend that at the top. You know, we have this way of blending about a third of the way down. And then in with the bottom colour. So for this one, we're going for the brown. And again, I'm just blending. And I'm going to come about a third of the way up. And the reason I do the top one and then the bottom one is when I blend my middle colour, I can blend it to the top and the bottom at the same time so in from the side right across and the beauty of this is it's a great way to practice your blending you know if you're not that au fait with your blending this is a great way now we're going to work on this area first so with the purple we'll go more into the brown and then we'll bring the brown back and look we can pick some of that ink up off that 
stencil there and just put that look at that lovely so now we'll go with the purple i'm not adding any more ink i'm just going to go up a little bit into that pink and then i'm going to come with the pink and go down into that purple and you'll see how that blends that area and again i can pick some of the ink up look waste not want not let's take that ink and blend it and we don't need to over blend i'm just going to grab a bit of that purple and blend that across the whole area and to finish off with I'm just going to come in with my pink and blend it right down all three and the oxides give us a lovely chalky finish so I'm just going to pop the lids on those now again I'm just gonna I find it easier if I just tip my look almost twist my card and then I can get my sticker stencil and I'm just going to wipe mine pop it on my mat oh sorry I <laughs> do keep knocking that light don't I what am I like and again I'm going to give that a dry just with a nice dry cloth possibly not a clean inky binky but there we go and that I'm going to house straight back onto the lovely acetate it comes with and then it keeps it safe now we're going to do some stamping on here now and what i'm going to do first what i tend to do is i decide what color i'm going to stamping and i'm going to use my versafine claire now for my main stamping i'm going to use my pine cone but I want a couple of colours in the background, so I'm going to think for colours that I, I like. And my pink, I've gone for Charming Pink to keep it with the pink. Now, I could add one of my purples. I've got Monarch, but I'm going for the Warm Breeze just because it's a lighter and just to introduce a little bit of blue. But again, this is the fun. You can decide what colours you want. Now, with our pine trees, we actually have four stamps. So there's this small one. Then there's next size one. And then we have two larger. And what is lovely is I'm going to use maybe three, maybe four of them. Again, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. It varies how I feel as to how many I use. Now, at the minute, as you know, I've taken the surround off just because I'm going to do a little bit of stamping in the middle. And I'm going to come in first with my pink. And I'm actually just going to ink up the top of the tree. And I'm going to keep it in the stamp, the coloured area. And I just want the top because I want this to be in the distance. So I don't really need any stamping down here. And first second third generation and again altering the height but just catching the top of that tree and it's just going to help create some lovely sort of mood in in the distance so we'll give that a wipe with mr inky binky and pop it back on the acetate because i don't want to lose it and I have to say, I've spoken to so many of you recently and these stamps, they can be tinkers. How many of you found them on the bottom of your plastic boxes? One lady found it on the bottom of a slipper. I have to say, I have found Eric wearing the odd one or two in the past. And they, they it's hilarious. How often does Pippin go missing? I've got two Pippins now because he tends to go walk about. So I'm going to come in now with my next tree and the warm breeze. And again, just inking up the top and I'm keeping it all in. I don't need to mask off because I'm keeping this all. And if you see, it's just building up that depth. So it helps with perspective, but also it gives that lovely misty feel. Now that's enough with that colour. Don't want to overdo it. It's that thing about stopping. We have been practising this, haven't we, ladies and gents? So that again, straight back on the acetate. Now, what I'm going to do now is with the larger one, 
if you look in the finished design, I've just brought it out. And that's another reason why I've taken my surround off because I just want to stamp a little bit. You could, if you want to keep it all inside the design, by all means, you, you do that. I just fancied bringing this one out a little bit. Just for change. I think we like to mix things up a bit, don't we? So I'm going to do this sideways. So I'm just going to stamp this here. And again, just let that ink soak in because obviously this is going to be my main, my main image. And there's a lot of ink on that piece of card already. And look at that. I love that. So what we're going to do now is I've just got a couple of little bits of copy of paper. I could put the mask back on, but I'm thinking for me a couple of bits of copy of paper will work fine and I'll just add a little bit more stamping in the pine cone. And again, like I say, I don't want to overcook it. So let's pop one here first. And again, it's so important to alter the height. And we've got first, second, third generation stamping there. And then while I've got this on the edge here, let's just add one here on that edge. And then pop it round here. Now again, however you find it easy to stamp, you do that. We all have our own little funny ways, don't we? I have to constantly remind myself to keep putting the copy of paper here. I just want to make sure that catches there and that's there. And then we'll have one there. And then just a second there, I think. And at this point, look, I'm just going to turn it round just so I can see. And yeah, I think one just there. I was going to say I'm happy with that, but I just want one, I think. And again, if you're not sure, use your acetate. But that space there is just too much for me. I think it needed one. Yes, yeah, happy with that. So we'll give that a bit of a blot. Like I say, you versifying clear, slower drying ink. So we'll give it a bit of a blot. And I'm going to stamp my sentiment as well. And this one, it comes off the Christmas greetings. I love these sentiments. And I've gone for season's greetings. Really, it was a size issue. I just wanted it to just fit in this space here. And I like that bit of distance there, so I'm happy with that. So again, we'll give that a bit of a bit of a blot. And then we're just going to add our moon mask. So that's a smaller of the acetate circle masks. And I'm going to pop that here. And again, you know me, I turn it upside down. And we'll come in with our purple. And I've got one of our gorgeous little brushes here, which are just fabulous for this. So this is the number three. And we're just going to spotlight that taller tree there. So picking up the ink off the lid, look. And just starting at the bottom. Now again, I'm being mindful not to go out of my design. Move that. And then I'm just going to turn it round. And I'm just going to, first of all, while I've got the most ink on here, I'm just going to ground my tree look with the purple. And then when I've got less ink, I'm very gently just going to tickle this area so it's not as obvious. And it almost blends off into that pink. There we go. Now, I do want to add some water splats. So at this point, I'm going to bring my mask back, look, pop it on. I've got my fan brush in some water, so I'm going to give it a big tap. And I just want some little water splats. don't want too many. 
and then lift that off and while that's full bleaching we'll give this a dry now I've used this square one so much the tack is starting to go so a little tip if the tack goes and also I've got so much look at that I don't know what that was anyway if the tack goes the best thing to do is just wash it in some warm soapy water but please do not scrub because this glue here if you scrub it will come off so just gently pop it in warm soapy water just give it a bit of a swish as I say no scrubbing and then I rinse in cool water and then pop it sticky side up just like that to dry and it will come back as good as new but the main thing is please do not scrub that sticky off just popping it in the warm soapy water and then rinsing it will be enough to get rid of any bits of glitter or eric hair or <laughs> whatever you have on yours mind you probably mine could be dust i don't know do our craft rooms get dusty now if we look at this now that's had lovely time to just full bleach look at that i think that is beautiful and as i say this could be so many other you could make a get well card and you know if you needed a sympathy card and unfortunately we all need them at times just by altering the color tones you could make um a lovely if there is such a word a sympathy card but i'm thinking even new year if you wanted to make a happy new year just alter the colors i'm going to add a little bit of snow because obviously this is going to be our christmas design and what i'm going to do first is come in with my wink of stella and i'm just going to add a little bit of shiny sort of glitteriness in the moon just and then i'm just going to add a little bit down the middle of some of these trees now again, if you don't want to add your glitter, but this is beautiful, subtle glitter. It'll just shimmer. And then with my Signo pen, I'm just going to come in and just randomly add some little bits of snow just on the couple of the trees. And I'm not going to overthink it. It's just going to catch sort of around the top. And just couple just how it does just catching on the top and then a couple of the stray branches it catches on some doesn't it and then maybe just down here and with my black fine liner sorry my brown fine liner look i've got it written on I'm just going to add a little bit of something at the base of my tree look and then i can come in with my gel pen and just add a little bit of snow just up the side here where it's just caught. If you want to add some on the top of your, your lettering, that always looks lovely. A little bit of snow where it's collected around the base of the G there, look. And then just at the base of these trees here, look, you can have a little bit of snow as it, as it falls. Just collects there, doesn't it? So maybe a couple more branches. Like I say, I don't want to overcook it. Just maybe on a couple of these, look. And then for the main snow, I'm going to bring in my Posca. And this is the um, 1M. Give it a shake. And really important, I'm just going to press the nib down to make sure that it's activated. It is a pump action, the nib. So if ever it doesn't work, it probably just wants a little pump. Now, you could pop the mask back on, but I'm quite happy for my snow to go right across my card design. Look at that, lovely. I'm going to go right round my, my wording here. Just gently tapping. If I want more snow, look, just tap a little bit firmer. Now, we've got a challenge at the minute on Lavinia, and the theme is White Winter Blizzard. Now, if I keep going with this Posca, I'm going to get a Winter Blizzard here, and this would make a lovely card to enter for that challenge. So, if you're thinking of entering, maybe you could make this card and enter it into the challenge. I'm going to stop there because we've definitely got a blizzard, haven't we? Pop the lid back on 
and I just need to wipe this here with my inky binky but it shows you I mean how quick and easy was that and so effective so if I bring in so there's the one that we've already made look there's the one we've created today and just to recap if you want to just see there's one with our small wild hairs and a couple of our sentiment stickers and if you want to change the colours up how about some lovely sunset colours for a birthday card so many possibilities so I'd love to see what you do I mean this you could add some yellow Posca splats if you want what about some birds from our bird set maybe a little bird sat down there like I say, honestly, my mind just, once you start creating, you'll just want to carry on creating. So, Shelley, I'm hoping that answers the question for you. So, this is using the new set, the small pine trees. And again, I reckon you could create a design for each time of the year, spring, summer, autumn, winter. Maybe make some notelets. Again, there's another idea for you. So, you take care. Have a lovely evening, sleep well, and I'll catch you again soon. Love and hugs from me. Bye for now.